Okay, in this video we will learn how to set up our landing page, but besides setting our landing page, we are setting few required data. This is the demo data used to set up our pricing plans and information about our uh, SaaS product. So let's first start with the first one. So let's start with the introdu introduction. Our landing page is located in the SaaS landing page folder and inside there is another folder app builder landing. So if I open the folder structure, here it is what I have. And inside the SaaS landing page, we have app builder landing. Okay. And then first we need to set up the demo data, which is a required step. Let's do that. So uh, there in the SAS landing page folder, we have the uh, data.json folder, the data.json file. Here we have all the information regarding the landing page that they use, but what we have important is are the pricing plans. Okay, so let's start by uploading uh, our demo data to uh, Firebase. In order to do that, we need to open our Firebase console, which is this one. And it says to create a, a new node inside the real-time database. So it's important that we are in the real-time database. And it says create a new node where we can input data. So we need to create a new node, which in order to create, we need to do something just to, just to create the, the value. So we have this node, this element, and I'm going inside it. Okay, and what I need to do is, according to the documentation, is to do, um, uh, there is a more button and click on it, and I should choose import uh, JSON. So I will do that, import JSON. So you see that I must be on this path, wrap SAS site. So I'm importing, browse, and I need to find that file, um, there so it's here somewhere in the test and then I have the uh, SAS landing page and I have data.json so I'm looking for this file open and what this will do is this will import all, all my data all my data that is currently in data.json there so that's it regarding the importing of demo data later on you will manage the data here is another step how we can manage, but that's in a completely a new step in a completely different video. And this is the, the required step. It's important to import that data. And this is totally optional to create a landing page for our uh, React App Builder. Uh, you can create any type of uh, landing page. We have uh, created a good landing page for you, so you can start up from, but you can create any type of website you like. You can even have your own web WordPress site that you can use as a landing, like a welcome page that later will, will link to your app builder. But in this case, I will show you how to, to build and how to deploy that. So first thing is to run npm install. We need to open SAS landing page app builder landing in terminal. So I will do this, open in terminal, and I will do this, npm install. This will install all the packages that are in uh, package.json. So they are not a lot. So I think it will be pretty fast. But anyway, I will pause the video for now and continue shortly. After a few minutes, uh, our npm install is done and all the packages are installed in node modules. So I will continue next with running npm start. This is to test our landing page locally. This will start a, a local um, development server and there I can preview the landing page itself. So this is the landing page that we have prepared for you. As I said before, you can choose to have your own landing page. This is not required. But I think it looks good and you can uh, pre-start with it and later on if your business goes well you can create your own better landing page. Uh, so in this navi here you will see different types of apps that can be done. We have all the how the steps goes, the pricing plans and in fact that's it and they can just start start now and they can this can link to your app builder. So our landing page looks okay and I'm able to go to the next step which is npm run build. 
what this does is it creates a build folder for you I will stop my development server uh, it creates a build folder optimized for any website so this will create the build folder as you can see here and what I should do is uh, open this in folder and then uh, go inside it and find the build folder and when it's done I should zip all the files so what I will do, I, here I have now two options to publish on Firebase hosting which is this one hosting here or you can publish to any other hosting that you may have via FTP or file manager um, in this case I will go with the on my own server, on my own hosting but yeah, you have instructions on how to to, to publish on Firebase also. In this case I will go with FTP or file manager. So as soon as our build is done I should see something like this and I do have the complete build folder. So I'm following the documentations now of this step, option 2 and I should zip all the files. Here I will add to archive compress 8 items, ok and now I have the zip file which I will upload in testing test landing builder.com. so I will upload that and it's here then I go to sas landing page and build and then I should have the archive.zip and when it's uploaded I should unzip it extract files and overwrite ok so the, now it's uploaded and I should be able to access this here and here is my website my landing page okay so with this we have covered this step uh, this step and we have skipped uploading to Firebase hosting but if you choose you can do that also uh, thanks for watching this video and hope it helps you creating your landing page. Bye bye.